Hello my precious ones! How are you guys and girls doing? I hope very good. Today I want to discuss with you three important things about fasting which, you know, I sometimes compile all the questions that I get in comments and emails that come to me and I make a video out of them. Today is one of those days about fasting because I hear a lot of confusion out there. I'm going to give you my two cents. Again, this is my opinion, my experience. You can do your own experiments. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust any studies. You are unique. You are you, one in billions. So nobody's gonna know you except you, okay? Know thyself. Let me tell you, we're gonna talk about three things. Muscle loss and fasting. Yes, important. Number two, we're gonna talk about continuous fasting or split fasting of uh, days in, in a week. It's for those that cannot fast together like three days or more together, because I know that a lot of people can't. And then last but not least, we're gonna talk about weight gain and fasting, okay, important one. Let's talk about muscle. Do you know that muscle is more than 60, 70% water? A lot of people think muscle is just muscle and fibers and ligaments and uh, meat. No, 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 it is mostly water. Did you know that fat? has water. Yes. So when you lose fat, you're losing water as well. Everything has water in our bodies. Even bone has probably like 20% water. You can look it up. I'm, I don't have the percentages correctly. I think when you're fasting, your muscle will shrink by loss of water. Even if you, including ketosis. Ketosis is you know, depleting your body of uh, glycogen and carbohydrates and sugars and glucose and all the bad stuff, that will cause you to lose hydration. What is hydration? Water, H2O. And water is in, in everything. So your muscle will shrink down. If you lose all the water in your body, which is almost impossible, you will, um, I mean, that's dying from thirst, right? You will lose 80% or 70% of your volume of muscle. Your muscle will shrink to 20%. So don't worry. That water can be recuperated, recovered through hydration. And if you drink high mineral water while fasting, so important. I don't lose a lot of volume and I don't even lose weight on the last days of my fast when I was dipping myself in high mineral spring waters, those uh, hot springs that I was going to in my trip to Northern Europe. Amazing. Minerals are in water. All of our water that we drink is depleted of minerals. Where are minerals? Minerals are on the earth, the soil. Um, you know, the ocean is the highest uh, water with minerals, and it's in the same proportion as us, as our bodies in minerals. It has all essential minerals and trace minerals. So, it, remember, if you're ingesting high mineral water, the likelihood of you losing muscle is very unlikely. Unfortunately, like I said, our waters are old. They remove the minerals from them. Why do they do that? I have no idea. Probably because they sell them separately. I don't know. I try to keep my thinking on the positive side. But, you know, the water is depleted of minerals. In fact, in, uh, when I was in Spain, I was reading the labels of all the waters that I was drinking. And it says mineralización débil, of low mineralization on purpose. I don't know why. Why would you remove the minerals which are so, so important? Minerals are way more important for you than anything else uh, that you eat or ingest. Vitamins are not very important. Minerals are super important. A vitamin, why it's not important? Because you can be depleted for years, if not decades, before you notice it. A mineral, if you're depleted of you know, magnesium and potassium, you will feel it <laughs> right away within days. Remember that muscle has lots of water. When you fast or when you do the ketogenic diet, you will lose muscle mass, volume, not mass. You will lose volume, but you can recuperate it with drinking high mineral water. Remember that. Or drinking sole, which would not would not be considered fasting on water. But when you're not doing the ketogenic diet, I highly suggest you in, include sole. I have a video. I might put. I will put a link below on this video. Okay, uh, of how to prepare sole. Number two, if you cannot fast continuously, I was overdue for my nine-day fast, and I did not do it, and I'm not gonna do it 
while I'm traveling. My trip is coming to an end at the end of this month. I'm going back to LA. Finally! Uh, my parents won't let me. My sisters, everyone is freaked out of me fasting nine days. They're like, oh, we won't talk to you. We won't. They're just panicky. They don't know what fasting is. We're convinced in this society that fasting is death, which has nothing to do with it. Far from it. And it or, or it's starvation, which is not true. You know, if you know about fasting, you've read books, you know that it has nothing to do with that. Fasting is the biggest modality of heating. Uh, Healing, no, healing. <laughs> so I am not fasting continuously. What I'm doing is I'm fasting 24 hours every 72 hours. That's every two days I'm doing 24 hours, which is really easy. You stop eating at 6 p.m. and you eat the next day at 6 p.m., so like a late lunch, you know, and then you stop eating at 6, which is an early dinner. Very easy, 24 hours, especially for those that can't fast long term or they have to work or one day fast does not affect you at all and it keeps you so, so cool and focused and you have the food from the day before. So you'll, but, but doing it over and over and over, like if you do it a whole year, you would have fasted 111 days. What a beautiful number. So it is very powerful to fast every three days if you can do continuous fast for like several days in a row. Again, I only recommend, legally, I can only recommend supervised fasting. But I, from my experience, fasting is the most wonderful thing I've ever discovered. Okay, so if you can't fast like days together, fast once every three days. It's very, very easy. And then after a year, you'll see that you haven't eaten a quarter of a year. No, quarter of a year, yeah. Uh, one season, four months, okay? Weight gain and fasting. Okay, so anything you do in life will, uh, related to your diet and restriction of food will cause your weight gain. Why? Because the very thing you prohibit your body from will become very precious and very desired. That's why most diets get you hungry and uh, you crave more food and you come out of them like crazy hunger. So fasting will do the same to you if you do it on a short short term. If you're doing fasting for weight loss, it's going to do the opposite for you unless you're doing as a, you're doing it as a long-term modality. I'm definitely convinced, well today I think I'm convinced that I'm going to be fasting for a long time ahead of me all my life probably because I think it's way too much for humans to eat so many times in a day. It's very taxing very oxidizing for the body, very taxing. The digestive system is a huge system. It's probably the biggest one. And we just tax our bodies way too much with food. Also, by ingesting dairy, we don't allow absorption of nutrients. So if you're just beginning your journey, cut dairy out for a while. You can reintegrate a little bit of cheese here and there randomly, but do not ingest dairy every day. Why? Because it has a coat that will line up your intestines and will prohibit you from absorbing. So really most of the food you're, we're ingesting doesn't serve us for anything if our intestines are not fully absorbent of everything we have. So uh, to recap, uh, muscles, you will lose only water. You're not losing the real muscle. Number two, if you can't fast continuously, days together, lumped up, you can fast every other day or every two days or every third day which will be really beneficial long term for you after two, three, four, five years, you will see a lot of benefit. And then weight gain, yes, you will gain weight if you're doing fasting for short term for one month, two months, or six months, it's not gonna work. It will get you more hungry, but if you're doing it for long term, one year, two year, three year, five years, lifetime, it's not gonna make you gain weight. The more you fast, the less you are attached to foods. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you appreciated this video. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel and give me your questions below. I try to answer everybody. All right, I love you guys and girls. Bye.